everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And today we're gonna plant something special, or I feel it's special. Although is everything special when you're planting something? Probably. But first let's talk about where we're planting, and I'll take a picture, but we're in front of the well house, and this is where my house burned down, and I had kept these old pieces of concrete and by using them as old restoration pieces or architectural pieces, I was able to do some really cool hardscaping. So during this past couple of years, I've grown the beautiful annual bachelor buttons, squash plants, trying to figure it out. But I finally figured out what I'm gonna plant. But before that, we need to talk art. Yes, particularly the Impressionism era. In late 1800s in Paris, a group of artists broke the stiff and the formal boundaries of paintings. Remember, everything was kind of in the lines. And um, you might say this group of artists started the modern art that we have all loved. Not in the beginning, though. It used quick brush strokes, short and really thin lines. They took different colors of paint and put them side by side and they would bleed together, making a different hue or an imaginary color because your eye would focus on this. So what art am I talking about? Anybody that's seen a Monet, they would know what we're talking about. So let me grab one real quick. Okay, the roses that we're gonna put in were created by George Delbarque. He's from France, obviously. That's where the Impressionism era came from, from France, Paris, actually. And um, he created some roses that were so unique. They smell amazing and um, they're just stunning. So he named each one of them of an artist from the Impression era. And basically, why did he pick a particular artist for a particular rose? Because it was common for them to use those shades of colors. So what are these roses? These are the Painter's Rose Collection, and they are amazing, and they ship by the way. And um, the one we're planting is the Camille Pizarra. Why? Because he used the same colors that I've used on my door and all around the border of this well house. So he used the reds, the yellows, the pinks, the peaches, the creams and white. Perfect. So I'm gonna do it as the background of the well house. In the front, we have another video for something a little different. So let me show you how we're gonna plant these. I'll show you my feral cat that's still waiting for adoption. Please foster or adopt a animal. But in the fall, Stefan and Taylor cleaned this whole area out because I knew I was gonna put roses. I finally figured out what ones. And um, I put the buckets. I'm going to put four. I wish I could have put five, but right here in this area is a big stone. I don't know if it was an entranceway. That was the oldest house. It was 300 years old in that area. So, and these stones are massive. I mean massive. In this area, we're, we're landscaping with a hard landscape. This is basically from the 1940s. They added between the two log cabins. So let me show you how I'm gonna plant these now. Okay, what we did, or she did, bury the pots, and then I may have to dig out some. And these roses love compost, loves it. So what I'm gonna do, it's kinda dry, but we're supposed to get rain. We're going into the rainy season. I hate to overwater. 
the one thing you don't want to do is overwater a rose. Let me dig some out real quick. All right, quick summary. I am not going to mulch these because we're going into rainy season. If it's going to get really cold and start frosting and all that, I'll do a light covering or I'll put a heavy covering and just space it away from the root ball. So you could see that in some of the other roses I did. What I want to do is talk about this one rose that has the black spot and what you should do. And I'm going to go over this in more alternatives. I am going to spray it with the fungicide, but when you get something like this, I just want you to cut all the areas and just throw it in a trash bag and straight into the car so and drop it at the gas station. So don't even take a chance of this spreading to the rest of your plants. And if you have hundreds of plants like I do, it may feel like overkill, but to me it's very, very problem. It's a real problem. So, but okay, so you just clean it up. Now, one more thing. I'm going to prune these, I guess, uh, the end of March. And, um, you know, and then basically, then it'll bush out more because I really want the growth to go into the bush to cover this back line because these will get three to four foot tall and um, wide pretty much. And um, they're supposed to smell like apples, which will be very interesting. But um, this is it. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And um, think of Painter's Rose Collection. And I think I'll put the next roses in. If it's not going to rain, you'll see it next week, though. Have a great day. Please subscribe, like, and share.